Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. I am at American Classics Marketplace. Shopping, recon mission on prices to teach myself and wait, there's a mirror right there. Hang on, let me get in there. I wanna to talk to you guys about something, about the booth situation. The third reason that I'm here, it's an antique mirror, so it's a little foggy. But anyways, okay, so the other reason I'm here is I talked about Willowstone Marketplace where my booth is, right? I talked about that and that they are downsizing. I mean significantly downsizing. 75% down to 25%. They're renting 75% more of it out again to like a different type of business where they can charge more money because you know there's loading docks and everything 20 okay a pie right now cut it in half that's 50 and 50 right cut it like this 25 25 25 25 they're gonna take three of these 25 <laughs> three of these quarters that's 75 percent and take all the booths out, all the tables, rent it to someone else. That leaves this little 25%. Okay, so now are you getting my drift? Now it is gonna be long and skinny, okay? But you get my drift on that. That's pretty significant. So, it's going to be by invite only, based on a lot of criteria. Now, most of the criteria I got covered nice to the staff i always tip to the boys out for moving me for helping me move something heavy always friendly met a bunch of the other dealers and super friendly i did advertising and promotion the one th oh and i have a good booth and good prices the one thing i don't have seniority i've only been there 10 months so i don't know if i'll make the cut it's all not said and done yet but it's a juried process not just people that you know are at willowstone i think they're bringing in rumor has it rumor has it they're bringing in outside resources to try to make it more fair I haven't heard anything yet so getting a little nervous so at this point I'm even thinking wow 25% is that even going to be interesting like is that still going to be a draw and like I said they're renting they've been chopping it up this isn't the first time even just since I've been there they've been chopping it up and renting it out and moving things around so technically if you start from the beginning that I was there, it's way more than 75% because they moved Gorman's into the back of Citywide and moved Citywide, which was a big draw, reduced it and moved it, remember that? And where Gorman's auction was, thank goodness they're still there because that's a draw, but they closed it up and rented it to someone else because, you know, dock access. Anyways, that property is for sale. It's been for sale. It's primo property. It has storage unit with it. Um, an out, a building in the parking lot for retail or business or doctor. It's at the edge of Garden of the Gods Road, which is, you can see Garden of the Gods Park. I mean, it's that close to a national, international tourist attraction. It's for sale. I feel like they're cleaning up their portfolio to make it more, look more profitable, right? So even if I was invited, do I really still want to stay there? Oh, and they're raising the, the rent. So now it's comparable to here. Hmm. I mean, is it even going to last or it stays numbered? Because, you know, another rumor, another rumor is, you know, really, really want to try to sell it, being more aggressive trying to sell that property because somebody in the family wants to move to where there's a grandbaby. Now that's a rumor, I can't verify that, but it would make sense as a female, that would, an older female, that would totally make sense to me. Okay, so I'm gonna put in an application on my way out because I already know there's a waiting list here and I bet you it just got bigger, <laughs> right? I know for a fact it did. I know some uh, Willowstones people are here putting in applications too, because it's the only other bigger market we have behind besides um, Sweet Williams. The other ones are smaller ones. Okay, so, but while I'm here, um, I'm gonna put my name in because it could take a while. Even if I get invited to stay, we're gonna do six month contracts. So that's probably how long it would take to get in here. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I think you guys would agree. I think it all makes sense, right? Darn. Okay, but while we're here, we're gonna have fun looking around. Okay, so last time I was here, 
I was looking through, I was in this case back by the bathrooms and looking through this jewelry thing that's everything's like 99 cents. And I said, I think this is the booth that belongs to my friends. Um, but Brittany messaged me on Instagram and said, no, it's this one. <laughs> they have some nice stuff too. Just showing you. If there's something you really love, I'll connect you with Brittany on Instagram and you can talk to her and her mom and maybe they can pull it and give you a little bit off since they wouldn't have to pay the 10% fee here. I mean, there was something really awesome. That right there is super cool. That bracelet. And what else did I love? Oh, down here. <laughs> Those are cute. I can't see all the prices. It looks like the turtle might be 20-ish and the floral 15 or vice versa. Okay, so this is their booth. Back by the restrooms. It's a showcase. I don't see a number. Wait a minute. It's probably, oh, there it is. Case F12. Case F12. This is always a fun booth to come into. So we know by now that's Desert Rose. Biggest punch bowl ever besides that big swan that used to be in another booth here. Lots of Fiesta. And in there somewhere could possibly be a more expensive rare piece or color. Prices are pretty right on I think $10 six dollars for the cups different kinds of cups with you know different handles oh my gosh that's the smallest wait that is the smallest okay they're calling it a bud face pitcher i have ever seen four dollars and it's like a swan it's not a white swan but i did deviate a little bit mid-century mod pieces Let's see what's new love that the glasses are eight the picture is can't see it that's gorgeous 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 cartoon and what do they call those not swiggy swigs are they because that's what jelly came in those are the ones jelly came in this is what caught my attention as being new that's fun Inland triangular casserole diamond pattern with lid, $60. I don't know if that's right or not, you guys, but it's cool. Never seen a triangular one. Fun tins, fun colors, $45 for the set. We've looked at some of this before. Some is missing. That is so beautiful. Those are like in, look like they're in water. $30 for that paperweight some blue crest it's not signed that paperweight's not signed but I think this was a St. Clair no okay look how gorgeous that is though wow how much is her Fenton silver crest 68 that's an original by Bruce show you up close the texture of it over the sofa size. Oh, that's lovely. Look at this one. Whoa. $44. Just mid-century mod is all it says. Yeah, that's fun. Turning around before we leave this booth because that is the cutest little boudoir lamp ever. Look at that. $75 of oh, Fenton glass lamp. I don't know if that means they made it or someone upcycled some Fenton. That is adorable. Mid-century modern pieces. I think these are Anchor Hawking or they Fire King. Wait a minute. 
Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought this was Anchor Hawking. I could be wrong. $18. Don't quote either one of us without verifying yourself, then. That's pretty with the opalescent. Very pretty. I'm going to turn it around just a little bit. I'm calling that one a Fenton, too. Hey, look, there's a hall. I don't think that's an Aladdin, but it's close. I've never seen one with the matching sugar and creamer all intact. You have to be careful with your hall teapots. Okay, so you like this one here, even at this antique mall, antique vintage vendor mall, $48 for the whole set. See what I'm saying? Some people are tell, will tell you that those are worth a little more than they are. It depends on which, which one it is. I know hardly anything about this kind of stuff, except that if you do study it, there's some money to be made on certain pieces. And then we have Pyrex. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. I'm not gonna go all the way in this booth because I didn't see anything new, except for maybe this awesome armoire. Armoire? <laughs> Dresser? Wow. 275. I'm even okay with the darker wood. I don't know how new it is. No. That's not. That's just retro. Definitely just retro. But it's cool. Anyways, I just snuck in there to grab something that they've had for a while. We've looked at it before. <laughs> the Google box. It's five dollars, and since my husband has been going berserk, buying me every smiley that he thinks is cool and some for himself, it is now our collection. Told you guys that I will show it to you. I promise. We're waiting on another show, um, shelf unit. <laughs> I'm gonna get this for him. So it's only five dollars. Let me get that and surprise him. Every morning when I wake up, there's something else smiley. But you know what? He has learned a lot about research, about vintage versus retro, how to negotiate a good price on eBay, whether shipping is a good deal or not, or being gouged. And so that is going to be awesome preparation for whenever he does retire. Excludes furniture. Okay, 60% off for whenever he does retire, right? And kind of want to help me out. This is Hager Floral, 30 no, okay, $40, 60% off, so that's pretty significant. Not the fanciest Hager, so then you know you do have to be careful. Some of you are just more generic, if you forgive that term, you know, just, okay, I don't know what to say, just not super, super fancy. But that one does have its sticker still. Hmm. Let's double check this. Excludes furniture and no discount. Doesn't say anything. Okay, so 40, to say $40. Four times six, 24, two, $24 off. So, what is that about? What does it say about 15 bucks? So, personally, that would be an awesome deal. Maybe not quite there for resale, but that's cool if you live local. It's a nice color. I picked up a couple of things real quick. I'm building a box. <laughs> so I'm building a glow box for a special sale. Anyways, stopping here to show you guys this. It's about 14 to 16 inches tall. Instead of Christmas, it is Halloween. $85. Now we're at Karen's booth. You guys remember my friend and yours, Karen. And last time I was here, you know, I picked up the acrylic swan she got me that was so beautiful on a shelf. And she was doing this. And I really, by the time I came back around, it was getting late, I really didn't get a good look at everything. I don't think any of the quilts are gonna be on sale because they're gorgeous. They don't need to be on sale. And I know she just got those. There was something I want. Oh, I saw this. It's White Swan. So, 25% off. The lowest price, she's got it marked down to $9.95, so it would be about $7.50. 
already have one, but I'm thinking about that. Oh, that's awesome. I don't remember that last time. That's somewhat new, but that sure is cool. Anyways, if you're local, Karen's having a pretty good sale. Anything with the little kiss stamp on it, it's 25% off the lowest price you can find. And I did pick something though. I'll show you what. Step on out. I set them over here. I'm going to get both of these Dragonware sets for a sale. They don't have any um, souvenir. They're not souvenir pieces. You know, they don't have like made in whatever on them. So if I don't keep them <laughs> to have fun with my husband, uh, I don't know what we drink out of that. We don't drink alcohol. So I don't know <laughs> what we do with that. <laughs> I just think they're super cool. If not, I'll put them in the next sale. So let me get those in the cart and then we'll just move on. Next booth, wait do you see this. A whole set of Dragonware. Everything. <laughs> oh my goodness, $185 for all of it. Non-souvenir marked. So I might give someone a good deal on just a little, what would I say, Demitas? Demitas? Little tiny cups in a saucer. Split them up and offer them for a good deal. And I do love that owl. It's kind of like a bat owl for $8. <laughs> So I entered the warehouse, kind of skipped the rocks. I always show you guys the rocks, kind of just skipped it this time. Here's some primitives and old tools. These axes look like they're around 40 to 60. I can't verify any of these. I really don't. 45, 45, wow. That one's for display only. <laughs> Right. Some big pipe cutters, I imagine. Fifty dollars for the huge four-foot pipe cutters. Railroad handbrake. Hundred bucks. Whatever all this stuff is. Anyways, if you're wanting to decorate with this kind of stuff. Those look like those um, planer planes. Plenty of it here. I do kind of like that burlap sack though. Well, only twelve dollars. That with the birdies on it. Super quality. Denver, Colorado, Excello commodities. Maybe birdseed? That's a good guess, right? <laughs> okay. I got a little bit of time left. That's why I'm going a little more quickly. I want to take a peek at Kat's booth. Then I'm going to go sit down and fill out that application and pay for my stuff. I've got about an hour left. Matt box. All priced individually. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So as usual, we can always count on Cat. Cat's Kitchy Vintage. Local reseller that I've met. You can always count on her to have a sale. So please forgive me while we just breeze through. It's kind of, that's a pretty good deal right there. Vintage multicolored micro beaded purse. $35, 25% off. It's not a bad deal. That's beautiful. I don't know if that was here last time or not. $30, 20% off. Black Swan, only $13 and 20% off. I did add one Black Swan to my White Swan Christmas collection. And late last night, well, <laughs> looking around for something else, I ran across an ad on eBay that said um, feather curtain light, 10 by 10. It's these little inky dinky lights and then they, there's feathers on each one. It's a 10 by 10 curtain, 20 bucks. 
free shipping. USA. So I ordered that for my white swan Christmas. Which is going to be here any day. Just showing you stuff. I know I'm not reading prices because I've got to get going. Oh, $20. That's a really fair price for that divider. Well, it doesn't have the turntable. But sometimes you can find those. Hey, didn't I see George just sell one of these? Hall Red Sundial? Yeah, didn't he just sell that on Misty's sale? Not super easy to find in good condition. Nice. She's added some furniture. Uh, little kind of piano babies. They're adorable. Oh my goodness. $25 for those and somebody will pay it too. Those are so fun and popular. John Perry's moved over here. I'm going to move a little more quickly and get over to the cafeteria, stack bar I should say, and sit down. Fill out that application real quick. I don't see a lot of empty booths here. And I told her I was a Willowstone refugee. She goes, yeah, we're getting a lot of you. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Wow, $40. I don't know if it's supposed to have the turntable, but it is fabulous regardless. It is really huge. It's about a 22 inch diameter. I'm going to turn around you guys. I'm going to show you something else. She's brought in another fixture. <laughs> That's fabulous color too. She always has the best glass. 35 for that. And let's go into the one that I always love too, her circular display. We were just here not too long ago, so just let me check real quick for anything that's new. We looked at all this and prices. That's new. Picture. $38. Mm. Well, about uh, a video a couple months back. I just picked up a gold one of these for somebody. That one, she says, was imported by Fifth Avenue. There's a couple people that imported these. These were not real old. Smiley, smiley. I have that one. I think this is still my favorite piece of hers recently, is that epic Italian and Poli genie bottle that she has for $75. It's about 22 inches tall. <laughs> Adorable. Well, we're back out of the warehouse. Homemade fizz bath blasters. <laughs> Those are gigantic. <laughs> oh, and they've got like stuff inside, herbs and things inside. $3.99. Anyways, I'm just gonna step here into the Classics Cafe, fill out that application real quick. Okay, it's filled out and headed to checkout. <laughs> Just going down the cases. Maybe we'll see something. Oh, I love how they painted that hand. Oh, 3D printed. Well, that's interesting. Someone's got them a 3D printer. Huh. That's cool. Let me come in on this. All products are 3D printed unless otherwise stated. Let's see, due to filament and type of printer used. And it tells about the what he has. And some kind of filament. I've seen that on YouTube. Interesting. So let's look, okay, tw only $20 each for like those toads that are pretty decent size. Interesting. Cross is $8. Wow, I've never seen this up close in person. Articulated 
Octopus 15, Large Gecko 50. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that Scrooge Donald Duck's uncle or whatever, $40. Well, that was interesting. Oh boy. We've got dragons. Special colors upon request. Hey, you guys. That's all. I'll talk to you later. I'm headed to the front. I hope you had a little bit of fun and I will see you on the next video or someone else's side chat.